you've just had a massive tour. Yeah. That's taken in China, Japan, Japan, Korea. Now there was a photo on Instagram of you performing in Beijing, sitting on a Game of Thrones throne. Yeah, that was that was for like this big thing that they have called Singles Day, which is like a celebration. It's like an anti Valentine celebration. Oh, really? And it's turned into this giant shopping day. And so they had this big televised event where they had like tons of different musical acts and products and things that were being plugged and it's crazy. It's like the Olympics for stuff. Were they selling Game of Thrones chairs? Or what was the tie um, with Game well, of they, Thrones? No, they wanted me to perform my single and they were like, we have this idea. We want to do like sort of gothic. Evil. And I was like, all right. You know, all right, cool. I'll sit on your chair. Yeah. Was, was it really the Game of Thrones chair or am I gullible? It was, no, it very, was, it was, it was totally very modeled after. Yeah, 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 so I thought yeah. only the Queen was allowed to sit on it. Oh, on the Game of Thrones yeah. chair? Yeah. And well, the little one. Well, this, well, this queen sat on the <laughs> chair. <laughs> <laughs> Are you anti Valentine's Day? Not anti, although I don't have anyone to celebrate it with this oh, year. Oh yeah, okay. So not like, anti, well, I, but just not really pro. Yeah. I okay. Guess. See, I do, but he doesn't believe in it. So anyway, that's my life. Though. Yeah, that husband just refuses to Why? Because it's to commercialized. It. Oh, it's, that's what he says. I just think he's cheap. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, big shout out to him. He'll be on the oh, work sorry, site yeah. today, and be, he's made to say, oh, "We heard Adam Lambert and your wife rubbish you this morning." <laughs> You should just come up with your own Valentine's Day that's not February 14th, right. but you just have your own day. I'm going to yeah, do that. Yeah. With Game of Thrones furniture. Yeah. <laughs> now, Adam, with a song like Ghost Town, is it easier to write that when you are single? It, you know, it is a bit of a sadder kind of melancholy song, you know. Uh, it, it could be about maybe being single or being broken up with. I see that. But I think I personally think the song is sort of looking at the world that we live in and, and, and the lives that we live in sometimes things are hard. Sometimes things get dark and mm. and, and you, you start asking questions like, well, what's the point? And you get a little hopeless. Yeah. But then the dance beat comes on yeah, yeah, yeah. and that whistle comes in. Oh, good, yeah. And I, I kind of think that it's sort of like taking the, the sad and the dark and sort of like flipping it over and trying to get over it and trying to like dance it out. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. Yeah. yeah. Um, we just heard you rehearsing and both Paul and I were like, flawed. Yeah. Because, Aww. no, I'm not Well, you really said like, he doesn't really need to rehearse. No, I just said, That's just said. this <laughs> guy's so good. Because you do hear, you know, you know, sometimes. Yeah, sometimes we've had artists that, you know, they perform live to us and, and they're quite unrecognisable. Oh. But you can tell you love it and it's been I a do, while yeah. since American Idol and you're still obviously. It's been, it's been seven years. And can you believe it? I know. Seven. Uh, that's, a, that's a long, that's a lot of years. Well, because I remember watching. Given that there were always big crowds once a week, was that just an amazing lead in to being the live performer that you are today? I mean, I had, I've been performing live for my whole life, but most of the time it was doing music. Right. So, I had kind of the couple years before Idol, I'd started to really branch out, and I was doing all these different concert things and reviews and like open mics and things like that. I was working in the studio, mm. working on my own music for the first time, and being on the show sort of like it was sort of a make or break like opportunity for me. My life sort of took a different path, and I'm glad it did. I like yeah. him. Can we keep him? Yeah, I'll, I'll, can we keep we'd him? love to make you an honorary test. <laughs> oh, can we do that? I'll I'll be, I'd like to come back. I don't have back. a key to yeah. the city, but I've got yeah, like yeah, yeah. I don't pull sunglasses. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll find you <laughs> something. Stars? There'll be a yeah, there'll be a, a present of some description. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Adam, look, it's meant so much to it us has. for you to come down. You've extended your tour here yeah. in Australia. You've launched a brand new radio station. Nice. And we cannot thank you enough. It has been my pleasure, you guys. Oh, thank 100%. you so much.